as you are taking these steps, you're breaking out of your comfort zone, you're avoiding career burnout, you're using your project management secret weapon, it involves a lot of change. Let's talk about change for a moment. Sometimes it's painful. And sometimes it's really painful. And so a lot of times we're stuck where we are because we don't know how to get from here to there. One of the great leaders in the change management movement, not IT change management, but human change management, is William Bridges. And he has a three-step human cycle of change model. And quite simply, it's endings, new beginnings, and in the middle, graphed over time, is the neutral zone. Endings is obvious. It's when something ends. It goes away. Whether it was planned or unplanned, whether you quit your job or lost your job or moved your office or moved your location or got married, it's all changed. Something ended. And then there's new beginnings. Something new has started. In between is the neutral zone where often we get stuck. It's like a trapeze artist in the circus. How do you get from one trapeze to another? What do you have to do? Let go. You're on this trapeze, you have gotta let go. And you gotta grab onto this one. But for a moment, you feel like you're falling because you're not holding on to anything. But you're really flying and the momentum carries you until you get to the new beginning, the new trapeze. But getting stuck in that neutral zone, we have the emotions about change. It feels uncomfortable. Sometimes we're frustrated, we're upset, we're angry, we're disappointed. We feel unsettled, uncomfortable. And it's a very personal journey from endings to new beginnings, which is why it's a problem when we try to do it together as a team. So for those of you in the room who have been merged, whether you're the merger or the mergee, or you've been absorbed or taken over. And some people on your team are fine with it. Okay, fine, we'll just move on. We'll change the business cards one more time and we'll put the new name on. And other people are stuck. No, I don't want to change the business card. I liked it the old way, right? And you have disagreement on the team because some people just zoop right through that neutral zone and they go to the new beginnings. And other people, they're stuck in endings. And other people make it part way through the neutral zone to the new beginning and then they backslide. Because it's a very personal journey. People have to go through it at their own pace. And it's different depending on the change. It's different depending on the person. And so we have to be, whether we're managers or individual contributors, we have to be empathetic to each other as we're going through that neutral zone. We have to be the wingman or the wing woman for the person next to us who's going through that change. And we have to realize for ourselves, sometimes that's where our negative emotions are. And we can say to ourselves, oh, I'm in the neutral zone. That's why this feels so bad. I know what this feels like. I've done this before. I'll make it. And it doesn't have to be, by the way, a huge change to set this off. You know, like loss of a job or something major. It could be something small. I remember when I was working at one of the companies, I had a desk, a little cubicle. And one day my boss came to me and she said, I want to move your desk to the other side of the floor, near my office, where the rest of the team is, because space has opened up. OK? And I said, sure. And I went back to my desk and I thought, I don't want to move. I like my desk. I have my stuff. I have my friends. It's quiet. I get work done. I have a path from the elevator. I'm near the bathrooms. I got it good. I don't want to change. So a week later, she says, you know, Jilda, we should really move your desk. I said, yes, sure. I didn't do anything. <laughs> she got a little bit more directive in her phrasing the following week. She said, Jilda, you're moving your desk tomorrow. <laughs> OK. At that point, I read the writing on the wall, and I said, OK, good. And so I moved my desk, my stuff, 
And the next morning, I got off the elevator, and out of habit, I walked to my old desk. And I said, oh, right, I'm not here anymore. This isn't right. Walked to my new desk, and I sat down. A couple days later, I was getting used to it. OK, there were some cool people I was near, and one of them had peanut M&Ms on his desk all the time. So I could just pop in there and see how he was doing, be supportive and encouraging, and have a couple of M&Ms on the way. And it was nice to be with the rest of the team. And after a month, that became my new home. I didn't even remember the old desk. I was adjusted to this new desk. I had embraced the change. I had embraced the new beginning. It would have been so much easier if I had been able to say to myself, oh, I'm in the neutral zone. I don't want to give up on this because of my comfort. If I just give up, it'll be OK. I'll be able to move into that and adjust so much easier, be so much more peaceful with me and my manager. So it doesn't have to be a large change that gets us stuck in that neutral zone. And the point of going through that and reflecting on it is that you want to believe that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is not an oncoming train ready to roll you over. You want to believe that's the light of a new day. A day when you can stand up and look yourself in the mirror and ask, am I living with power and passion? And when you can honestly answer, yes, I am. Because today is the day I choose to live a more productive life. Today is the day I make conscious choices. Today is the day I prioritize based on what I truly believe is important in my life. Today is the day I choose to live a more inspired life. Today is the day I realize this is not a dress rehearsal. This is my real life. The American poet Carl Sandburg wrote, time is the coin of your life. Only you can determine how it will be spent. And so I ask you, how will you spend the remainder of your 28,000 days? Thank you. <laughs>